Hi everyone. Today we are going to look at aspect based sentiment analysis. I know you might have heard of sentiment analysis, which is nothing but determining the sentiment of the text. Now here text could be your product review or it could be a social media post and you want to understand what is the sentiment of that particular review, whether it is positive, negative or neutral. But sometimes knowing overall product review or a sentiment at a review level is not a sufficient because when you offer a product or services, there is a chances your customer or users are going to like something about your service and product and they might be complaining about something. And you as a service provider, if you could know what are the things, what are the aspects of your product and services that your user like or your customer like and what are the things they didn't like. And this is where aspect based sentiment analysis come into picture. So today we are going to look at one library called Py ABSA. Here Py is actually the Python and ABSA is aspect based sentiment analysis. This library is a transformer based and bird based library that we will use and we will try to, you know, find out the aspect based sentiment of these two reviews. Let's have a look at the library. So it's an open source library created for the aspect based sentiment analysis. And you can read more about the library. There are a lot of details what they have. You can see one table on hugging face and you could look at what are the different data sets they have used to, you know, create those models and what are the different versions of the bird or there are different things that you can read about this library. And here is the hosted demo on hugging face, which can determine, you know, aspects and also determine the sentiment for those aspects. So we can try like one of our example. Let's try this example. And we could see that it is able to find out here staff is a negative and the food has a positive sentiment because uh, we have a review says staff was very rude. So definitely there is a negative sentiment toward the staff but food was delicious and we have a positive sentiments towards the food and it is also determining in our sentence where is those aspects are locating so this is at the first position which is here and the other one is at here which is the sixth position in our sixth word or sixth token in our sentence let's try to use this library and see whether we can get the similar result so first thing actually, we need to install the library. We can install, you know, PyABSC using pip install. I'm just clearing the output. Second thing, this library has been trained on a multiple languages and we can see what are the different checkpoints, nothing but the pre-trained models are available that we could use. And to get those checkpoints, you know, we can import the available checkpoints and we can simply list what are the different checkpoints or the pre-trained models that are available. And if you run, we can see there are a lot of different models that are available. And the first one, we can see the checkpoint name is English. And even you can see the drive location, you can go here and download manually this particular checkpoint, which is nothing but a bird based model. And training data set was English. We can also see it train on RTX, you know, 3090, maybe some GPU. And you can also see the author who actually trained this checkpoint. We're going to use this English checkpoint. Now let's, uh, yeah. So to use this particular checkpoint, we have to import the, you know, this checkpoint manager, which is actually ATE PC which is nothing but the abstract term extraction and polarity classification. So actually it's a aspect term extraction polarity classification. That's what that uh, particular word stands for. And once we have this checkpoint manager, 
it has a method called get aspect extractor and we have to specify which checkpoint we want to use and this particular flag is auto device is true because i am using gpu and if you are on cpu you can make it as a false since my environment is a gpu i have put this auto device as a true and then you can execute this statement which will download that checkpoint for you once it is downloaded we will have that checkpoint instance loaded into this variable aspect extractor you can read about more about this checkpoint you know a uh, lot of different things like what was the batch size when they trained this model what was the pytorch version what was the transformer version when they trained and there are a lot of different informations you can find out here you can even see what was the spacey model that they have used and some bird related stuff so we have model which is loaded in this particular variable aspect extractor and we can see that model will be loaded here locally yeah so we can see the checkpoints which is nothing but what we have now downloaded here we have one checkpoint which is nothing but our that pre trained model now since we have already loaded here we can test it on our example so we have tested on our example it has printed a output here like so our review was camera quality is very good but battery drains fast so definitely this is review related to the mobile and we could see the user has a good sentiment towards the camera but they are not happy with the battery and uh, we can see the camera quality has identified as a positive thing and the battery as a negative and we can print those outputs also here in more detail form now this output gives all the details all the extracted token from our review or our text sentence what aspect it found we can see it has found two aspect camera quality and battery and it also tells where is those aspects are located the first aspect is actually located at the first position and second position and the third one is at the seventh position and we will have a corresponding sentiment for those aspect we can see for a camera quality we have a positive sentiment and for the battery we have a negative sentiment and we can see all the tokens and other details we can also try on a different sentence let's try on this sentence okay we can see from our sentence staff was very rude but food was delicious it was able to extract two aspects one is the staff other is the food and we can see we have a negative sentiments towards the staff but have a positive sentiments towards the food now this information can be used by you know service provider or even the product developer and they can improve their product i hope this video you found useful you can read more about you know that library go to the github repo i will be putting this information link to the github repo and link to the hugging face demo in a video description thank you very much